great pleasure to announce the winner of the 2011 Griffith University Medal for Management Innovation. Mr. Jamie Pfefferis, CEO and founder of Corporate Travel Management. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is no doubt that CTM is a successful company. It has won the Australian Federation of Travel Agents after Best National Corporate Travel Company for seven success, six consecutive years. In 2010, CTM was inducted into the AFTA Hall of Fame for continued excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in acknowledging and celebrating the winner of the 2011 Medal for Management Innovation, Mr. Jamie Ferris. Well uh, firstly, I just want to say a quick thank you to, to Michael again for the award, particularly the Griffith Business School for making this award available, and also to AIM to have 16 years of consecutive um, this program is, is a very good um, achievement. Uh, for me, it really is a great privilege to receive this award, uh, particularly in light of the past winners. Uh, in fact, I feel a little humbled to, humbled to be here today or tonight. But what is innovation? It, it's, a, it, it's interesting. It's not, it's not for people in a basement working away like monkeys hidden away in the corner. Innovation should be the lifeblood of your staff and it should be in your DNA of everyone that, that works with you. Um, for us, you know, business is very important that you understand your drivers. In our business, we have three key drivers of which innovation and in, in terms of product development and process is one of them. But firstly, of course, it's clients. For us, how we win clients, retain clients and grow revenue from clients is a key plank in organic growth and continuous strong organic growth. Second, of course, is people. Not only do you need a very good culture of people, but you also need to make sure that those people are more effective so they can focus on client service. And the glue that pulls these things together is product and process innovation. That's what makes everything happen. So when I, when I talk about how that happens, firstly, if you think about how it works with your clients, if you listen to clients and it's in your process and everyone in your team that has any communication with clients, if they're focused on thinking about what do they want, what sort of products and services can we offer that's more compelling, by definition, you'll retain clients, you'll win future clients, and you'll hopefully grow revenue from some of the key innovative products that are compelling. And secondly, with people. One thing about people is, is it's great to have a, 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 a perfect culture that suits your business, but more importantly in this day and age, productivity is the key. So what are you doing to make them more effective? In our business, it is an obsession when people start in our company to never accept what they do today as status quo, we ask them all, what can you do to make your life easier? How can we strip away mundane processes to make sure you can focus more on clients? And by doing so, you do two things. You have better client service, it helps you win and retain clients, you can see how the whole wheel spins. But more importantly, you get productivity. And that's a really big point as well, particularly in Australian companies trying to compete on the world stage. But the, the, the funny thing is, when you get all those things right, profit just tends to happen. And that's the key message. We focus on the other things first and profit will happen. So lastly, as Steve Jobs said, I guess, you know, you've got two choices as a, as a leader. You can be a, a follower or a leader, a leader of innovation. And I guess when you're a follower, you tend to behave like the others. You become mediocre. And particularly in a competitive world, you sort of just get lost in the competitive landscape. Or you can be a leader. Now, leaders in, in innovation, you must continually challenge both your staff and your clients to continually reinvigorate the model and by doing so, you have a genuine model of continuous improvement, and continuous improvement leads to sustainable, strong growth and profits. We choose the latter. Thank you. What a worthy recipient, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much to Griffith.